Huge news today, if you're a mobile live streamer and you have under 1,000 subscribers, effective immediately, you can no longer live stream to YouTube. But don't worry, I've got you covered, that's what I'm here for. So I'm bringing solutions today so you can continue to live stream with your mobile device. But first, huge shout out to Pusha Studios for bringing this to my attention today. Link in the description below to them. Fantastic community over there and they do great live streams, so be sure to check them out. And thanks again for the heads up. Now in the last 24 to 48 hours, if you tried live streaming on your mobile device, you may have received a message that says you're ineligible to live stream, but you can still live stream with your webcam or broadcast software. Translated, that means that you can still broadcast using your desktop computer and a webcam or broadcasting software such as OBS or Streamlabs, vMix, or whatever it is that you're using, but you can't do it directly from the YouTube app if you have under 1,000 subscribers. However, you can use apps to continue live streaming with your phone, and I'm gonna go over those apps right now to show you which ones work for me today, about an hour ago when I was testing them out. And real quick, I don't know why this is happening. YouTube has not given an official statement yet. However, Doug Houston YT has a fantastic video giving you some good insights on why this might be. I'm gonna pin a comment down below linking out to his video and I'm gonna put it in the description. Be sure to go over there and check out that video when this one's over. And I wanna hear from you. Why do you think YouTube would restrict mobile access to people under a thousand subscribers? I'm at a little bit of a loss on this one, but I would love to hear from you, so be sure to go down, leave a comment, and let me know what you think. When this video's over, I'm gonna go down there and read every single question and comment, and you know I reply to as many people as I can. I wanna hear what you have to say about this. Now let's talk about the solution. Here are the apps that worked perfectly for me today about an hour, hour and a half ago. The first app that I tested was the Streamlabs app, free app available for both Android and iOS devices. And by the way, all the apps that I'm talking about, I'm gonna list them down in the description below. Streamlabs worked like a charm, no problems. I turned it on, started streaming, and it was perfect, flawless. So thumbs up Streamlabs. The next app that I tested was Switcher Studio, which is strictly an iOS streaming app. Again, perfect, absolutely flawless. And if you don't know what Switcher Studio is and you're an iPhone or iPad user, check out Switcher Studio. It works perfectly and it allows you to take multiple iPhones and iPads and turn them into multiple camera sources so you can switch back and forth and have different camera angles. Super cool app, thumbs up Switcher Studio. The next app that I tried was DU Recorder. DU Recorder worked like a charm. It opened up and everything was fine. The audio was there, no problems whatsoever. So, ever. so if you're streaming out games using DU Recorder, work like a charm. Thumbs up DU Recorder. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we don't know why this is happening. We don't know what YouTube is thinking, but I'm gonna put a link to Doug's video right here. So make sure you go over and watch that right now. Just tap on it, it's gonna take you over there. He has some great insight on what could be going on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.